What's up guys? My name is Lucky. This is Lucky Lad TV. I am your host for this video and it's finally time. I've been waiting so freaking long for this. The bulky method team is my favorite team building method because it's it's how it's how I've always built my teams. Up until I started with YouTube and all that stuff, I would always like when I would build my in-game teams I would always build it build it this way because I was always so terrified of my Pokemon fainting. So I have always been a proponent of having nice bulky fatness on your team. And the way that basically this that this method works is you want to minimize overlapping weaknesses and you want to minimize frail Pokemon. So the way that you do that is you pick Pokemon with as few weaknesses as possible. And you also want to have a good Mega on your team. That also helps. It's not... You don't need it, but it helps a lot. And I'm going to go with Mega Scizor. Because Mega Scizor is only weak to fire. It hits really hard. And it has really nice move coverage. And the other thing about it... Uh, I'm going to name you Sweeney Todd. I think that's the name of my Mega Scizor. I'm going to bring you down to level 50. I'm going to make you male. Shiny. Oh, God, no. A technician, of course. You need the Scizorite. And I'm going to get... Okay, so bear with me. Four in speed. That's it. That's all it gets in speed. Because all it needs to be able to do is outspeed another Pokemon with 75 base speed. That's all I need it to do. Then I'm going to give it, well, let's see, 40 times, uh, 160. Okay, that didn't work. 252. That doesn't work either. Okay, so 160 plus. All right, that's closer. 201, 203, 4. 204 plus in special defense. You're going to have, I'm going to maximize your HP. And we have 48 left over. I'm just going to give you 48 in your attack. Unless 44 is the same. 48, 44. 44 is the same. So, you're going to get 4 in defense. Because why not? Actually, no, no, I'm right, I'm right. Because even if I make this 8, it doesn't make a difference. So, this is our Scizor. This is the EV spread and IV spread, which is irrelevant. Uh, I could make that 0, it won't make a difference. But now we need to go with the moves. And basically the way that this works is you give it Bug Bite. Bug Bite. Because with the Technician, it turns out to have a base power of 90. You give it the bullet punch, and this is not my set. Uh, the EV spread may be a little different than usual, but the attacks are not. Uh, the swords dance, and the roost. And basically what this means is that uh, you're not going to be able to kill this thing unless you... Most likely, unless you have a fire type attack. Which means that you can usually get off a swords dance and or a roost before that happens, and then you can hit stuff with bullet punches and bug bites. I would put U-turn on this, but it's a four-move syndrome type thing. I'm more interested in having the bug bite on there for the power, because this thing is really there to set up. It's not there for really much any other reason. So, now we need a Pokemon that is immune to fire. That's sort of the way that uh, the bulky method works. In contrast to the Death Spit F core team, the bulky method is more focused on immunities. So I need something with Flash Fire. And since we are an OU, we do have access to Heatran. However, that's two Steel types, which I do not want to do. So I'm going to go with Arcanine. First and foremost, Arcanine is very bulky. Look at those stats. That is beautiful. Second of all, um,. It doesn't have any shared weaknesses with Sweeney Todd, and OG Legend. 
Uh, I don't know how many of you know this, but Arcanine's original, not original, Arcanine's Pokedex entry is the legendary Pokemon. Like, that's what it says. Like, if you look at Charizard, it says the Blaze Pokemon. I, at least I think that's what it says. If you look at Arcanine, it says the legendary Pokemon. Make you a female. You are going to have the Flash Fire for the Fire Immunity. And here's the thing. Arcanine works perfectly well as a physical or a special attacker. And for the team that I'm going to be building, I actually want it to be special. Here's why. I don't want to be taking recoil damage. I just don't. So, I'm going to give it the flamethrower, and I'm also... Well, it's going to have other moves as well. Uh, it's going to have the flamethrower. It's going to have the dragon pulse. I only have that in there for coverage in case we run into a Pokemon that is like a Kingdra or something like that. Or a Mega Charizard X. Uh, Dragon Pulse does very well against that. I'm going to give it the... There's another special move that I like to give it. HP Grass. That's what it is. HP Grass. The reason being, HP Grass hits Rock, Ground, and Water types, which is all three of Arcanine's weaknesses. The last thing that I want to give it... Wait. I'm sprouting an idea. I don't know if it'll work. I, I think it'll work. I think that this will work. Um, uh, morning sun. All right. <laughs> so this is an idea that I got a real long time ago. I'm going to max out your defense, I mean your HP, max out your special attack, and give you a wee bit in speed. So this is an idea that I got a real long time ago because I had no idea that Arcanine had almost as good special attack as regular attack. I had no idea for the longest time I never would have known. But one day I actually bothered to look at its look at it in a Pokédex, and I found that out, and I'm like, so why don't people run a flamethrower? Well, it's because Flare Blitz is more powerful, even though it has recoil damage. And then I saw it learn S Solar Beam, and I'm like, oh, you can make a really nice fat Arcanine, and give it Sunny Day with Morning Sun and Solar Beam to cover its three weaknesses. So... That's the Arcanine that we're going to be using. Uh, all the heavy breathing you sound, I have been having some breathing troubles lately. Uh, as far as I know, I'm fine. Um, I'm going to the doctor soon. But, you know, bear with me. I apologize. Alright, so, Arcanine is weak to rock, ground, and water. And I don't believe there's any one type that resists all of that. However... Let me pull... No, not Shady Faces. I don't need that. Rock and Ground are both resisted by nothing. <laughs> I always forget that. They, they don't have any coverage overlap. However, Ground and Water are both resisted by Grass. However, the issue with that is that it's another Fire Weakness. Rock and Water also share no other weaknesses. <laughs> Ground and water share no other resistances. Oh, wow. That explains why fire types are not the greatest thing on planet Earth. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go with the grass type unless it has a fire resistance in itself. However, I don't think that's, you know, viable. So, instead, what I'm going to do is I just want to get something in here with levitate. Levitate. T-E. Alright, so, the reason I'm going for a Levitate Pokemon, and I just sprouted an idea. Uh, the reason I'm going for a Levitate Pokemon is because... Uh, and I, I'll, I'll tell you my, my idea that I just got. I'm going for Rotom Wash. Because, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't get used enough. 
It really, I'm kidding. It gets used all the time. Rotom Wash. I am going to name you Game Boy Luke. Bring you down a little 50. You're not going to be shiny. I'm going to give you the leftovers. And you're going to have the will. The thing about this Pokemon is that it's going to be supportive. I'm actually going to give you the Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry. Will O Wisp. I'm going to give it the Volt Switch because Switch Initiative is nice. Uh, it has the Will O Wisp. Volt Switch. Uh, it needs Hydro Pump. And it's going to have. I'm actually thinking of taking the Heat Rock off of you. Yeah. And giving you the leftovers instead. Uh, just because. Um, if I have the sun up, then Sweeney Todd gets mollywopped by Glamour that fire type attacks in general become way more powerful, and Game Boy Luke's Hydro Pump will do nothing, which I'm not a fan of. And I'm also going to give you the, well, pretty much everything in my Shadow Ball, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I'm going to give you the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. And I'm going to, pretty much all the Pokemon on this team are going to have max HP, just so you know. Uh, so you're going to have max HP, and then you're going to have maximum, I think I'm going to give you max speed. Because this team isn't very fast, as I'm sure you have noticed. However, it is very bulky, which is, you know, the point of it. So, Game Boy Look is only weak to grass, which is double resisted by Sweeney Todd, and it's also resisted by the OG Legend. Uh, and Sweeney Todd is also immune, sorry, OG Legend is immune to Sweeney Todd's only weakness. And we have a ground immunity, and we have a water resistance. So now we need something that resists rock. Um, what resists, rock is such a good offensive type. Like, pe I, I hate that rock only has one move. That has 100% accuracy. That has more than 50 power. And that's Power Gym. That bothers me a lot. That said. We, <laughs> we need something that can combat a rock type. So. Rock is resisted by fighting. Which is a psychic weakness. Which Sweeney Todd takes care of. It is a flying weakness. Which Game Boy Luke takes care of. It is a fairy weakness, which Sweeney Todd and OG Legend take care of. And it is... Wait, no. That was all three. So a fighting type here works, and it gives us our rock resistance. So I'm going to get a fighting type up in here. I have no idea which one. Um, we could go with... No, because that's another weakness. Oh, we also already have a Mega. <laughs> I was about to say, we can go with a Mega Low Punny. We can't. For so many reasons. Um, I'm thinking Conkelder. Uh, I personally would run the Iron Fist Conkelder. Just because that way it would give us really nice coverage. Um, what other options do we have? We could run a Scrafty. It's a double Fairy Weakness, but we do have two Resistances, so I'm not worried about that. We could also run... And it does get Dragon Dance. Huh. I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with the Scrafty. It's a fighting weakness, which we do not have, which we are not dealing with currently. How, I'm going to go with the Scrafty, and then we're going to have a ghost type next. Because that'll deal with the fighting weakness, and uh, everything else is covered fine. So, I'm not going to, you're going to have Moxie, you're going to have the... Lumberry, Lumberry, bring you down to level 50. I'm going to name you Hooligan, Hooligan, and make you male, not shiny because it's gross. Give you the Dragon Dance, I'm going to give you the Crunch, I'm going to give you the Drain Punch, I'm going to oh, you are on Fake Out, what? I did not know that this thing got Fake Out. I'm going to get a fake out. Fake out is wonderful to have. I'm going to give you 244. Max out your speed because you are incredibly slow. Whoops. 
and I'm going to give you four, four, and four. So this is Hooligan Hour Scrafty. It is double weak to fairy, but we have a resistance in OG Legend and a resistance in Sweeney Todd. It is weak to flying, but we have our resistance in Game Boy Luke. It is... Uh, no, that's all it's weak to, now that I'm thinking about it. Because it's not weak to Psychic, it is not weak to Bug, and it is not weak to... Wait, is it weak to Bug? I don't think it is. I could have sworn fighting was just Bug. Uh, Bug... It, yeah, it's resisted by fighting. Yeah, we're fine. Um, so that is... Sweet and Todd. Uh, it's weak to fighting, which we are going to take care of now with the ghost type that I was talking about before in my crazy ramblings. So as far as ghost types are concerned, they are not typically super bulky. Like, normally they have some decent bulk, but they're, you know, th that's about the extent of it. However, this Pokemon is not going to be an attacker. We have two physical and two spe sorry, two physical and two special attackers right now. So for this Pokemon, I actually just want some utility. I don't really need it to do much of anything else. And I think I'm going to go with the Golurk that I have highlighted right now because it learns Stealth Rock, which I really like. I'm assuming it learns Stealth Rock. Yeah, it learns Stealth Rock. Um, and it's got some good bulk to it, and it learns uh, Shadow Punch, which never misses. Although, that shouldn't really be an issue. Um, uh, back to Ghost. Ghost. Uh, we can't go with Aegislash. I would like to run Aegislash, but I can't. Um, we go with Kofagrigus. I don't think it learns Stealth Rock, though. Uh, same thing with Spiritomb. Uh, Spiritomb's only weak to Fairy. However, that's another Fairy weakness, which I would personally like to avoid. Um... I'm really thinking that we're going to be going with the Golurk. It's weak to water, but we have a resistance here. Um, we would have to get another resistance on the team, though. It is weak to ice, but we have a resistance here and here and here, I think. It is weak to grass, resistance, double resistance, and we only have one weakness. It is weak to ghost and dark. Both of which are resisted by Hooligan. That's why I did that. Um, water, grass, ice, ghost and dark. So yeah, that would be it. So the only thing we would need is another grass resistance. Sorry, not another grass resistance. Another uh, water resistance. So I may go with the Golurk. It depends on whether or not uh, Kofagrigus learns Stealth Rock. If it does, I will be going with Kofagrigus. It does not learn Stealth Rock. Do any of the other ghost types that I was talking about learn Stealth Rock? Ghost. Let's see. Uh, De Blade, no. Spiritomb, no. Chandelora, no, doesn't. Trevenant. Trevenant, huh. Hmm. We already do have a Lumberry Pokemon on the team, so I don't really need all that. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the Golurk. Uh, then we just need to get a Grass Resistance on the team. Sorry, I keep saying that. A Water Resistance on the team, uh, which really shouldn't be an issue. We're going to get the Stealth Rock. The other reason is I love bringing low-tier Pokemon. I'm going to name you Jaeger. Uh, Stealth Rock. Earthquake. Because it's always nice to quake the Earth. Um... Where is that move? Shadow Punch. And I wish you got Rapid Spin. It would make no sense, but it would. But I, I wish you did. It would be hilarious. Um, since you have the Iron Fist, I'm not going to go with a non-guaranteed hit move. Um, and I want the Iron Fist because of the Shadow Punch. So I think I'm going to go with... Well, what resists grass? Water. What re <sighs> uh, Water we already have. Uh, grass, we do not have, but that would not work. It's another ice weakness. Dragon. It's another ice weakness. However, does fighting resist ice? It does not. 
Ice is resisted by fire, which we have. It's resisted by water, which we have. And it's resisted by steel, which we have. So we have one, two, three resistances. And we would only have two weaknesses, which actually isn't that bad. Um, I'm considering a grass type right now. No, wait, I'm considering a dragon type. A grass type, grass types just have too many weaknesses that we can't deal with. At least they, pro at le we'll check back into that. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to give you the ice punch because I know that we're not going to have an ice type Pokemon on the team. And an Iron Fist ice punch is a nice thing. I'm going to give you the leftovers, I believe. No, you already have the leftovers. You have the Citrus Berry, you have the Lomberry, you have Scissorite. So you are going to get... I think I'm going to go with the Focus Sash. Just because of all the Pokemon on the team, you are the frailest. Just if you look at it, you have 115, you have 107, you have 80, and you have ridiculous. <laughs> you're just ridiculous. You actually aren't the... So instead, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you the Focus Sash, because you're actually... You're actually the least bulky on the team. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you the Expert Belt. Because you can use it. And you're going to keep the leftovers. So you're going to get the... Expert belt for that ice punch. It's really just for the ice punch. And you are going to get... You have, oh yeah, you have fake out. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get 244. You are going to get 252. Actually, you know what? No, not even. You're going to get 100 in here. Unless 99 is the same. It is. So you're going to get 101, 2, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. Okay, 108 in each of these. 108. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then you're going to get 40. Yeah, just 40. 41, yeah, 4. Wait. 39. Is that the same? You know what? I'm going to get you to 150 attack, so 48. That's four, 44. Yeah, 44, and then 4 in there. Sorry. What, I like getting this on when I'm doing that. <laughs> so that is Jaeger, our goaler. So the last thing we need on this team... Because we have three physical attackers. We need a special attacker. Preferably that has a water resistance and doesn't produce any other weaknesses. So let's look into a grass type. Let's see what would happen if we did that. So if we got a grass type in here, it would produce a poison weakness. Immunity. It would produce an ice weakness. Resistance, resistance, resistance. It would produce a fire weakness. Resistance, immunity, weakness. Resistance, immunity, weakness, weakness. So we, that would be fine. It would produce a flying weakness. So that would be two weaknesses with only one resistance. So I really don't want to do that. I'm very hesitant to do that. As for the dragon Pokemon... D-R-A-G-O-N. With a dragon Pokemon, we would have uh, two ice weaknesses with the three resistances. Then we would have a fairy weakness and a double fairy weakness, but we would have a double... Sorry, we would have two resistances. And then we would have another thing that I can't think of. Um, no, it's, oh, and, and a dragon weakness, but resistance, and also dragon doesn't, I don't really count that as weakness, <laughs> because, you know, if they can hit you with a dragon type move, you can hit them with a dragon type move, so, you know, it's all fine and dandy. Um, it's also going to be a special attacker, 
So what I am thinking here is I actually have no idea what I'm thinking. Um, I wish there was something that was not weak to fairy, just because we have enough trouble with fairy. Because fairy is such a good offensive type. Um, we go with the Kingdra. Make it a Kritra. That's another water type though, which I just don't want because we don't we don't need it. Huh. A dragon type. Dragon type that is not weak to fairy would be I mean that it's extremely rare. So the grass type doesn't work because of the fair, I mean because of the flying. Um, it's also, well it's a fire weakness, a uh, poison weakness. It is a ice weakness. It's a bug weakness. The bug, we have a double resistance in Sweeney Todd, we have a resistance in OG Legend, we have a resistance in Jaeger, <laughs> I think. Uh, so bug's not an issue. And it is flying fire, poison, bug, ice. So the ice is a little bit of an issue. Sorry, the ice is not the issue. The flying is really the issue because we only have one resistance. So are there any grass types that are not weak to flying? Let's see. We already have Rotom on the team. We have... Like, bug and rock would work. I mean, rock and grass would work. Well, at least it would sort of work. That would be a cradley, but cradley is booty. I mean, TBH. Cradley's booty. See? Booty. Booty! Um... We already have a water type on the team. So we have two water weaknesses, but we only have one resistance. We go with superior, but it doesn't really cover any of the weaknesses. Superior is bulky though, which I like. Um, I think we're gonna have to go with the dragon. Gear you and and I think we're gonna go with Dragonite. Wait, no, the flying causes a lot of weaknesses. It gives us a rock weakness, which we can't deal with. Well, resistance, resistance, weakness, weakness. So it would work. Um, electric, it's fine with ice. Resist, resist, resist. Um, fairy, resist, resist. Neutral, neutral. Um, so Dragonite sort of works. The reason being with the multi-scale, it works really well. But it would be a lot of move overlap, which I don't want. So. So, so, so. We could go with a Gludra or the Kingdra. I think I'm just going to go with the Kingdra. Oh, no, wait. That's another water type. Never mind. I'm sorry. Um, what can we go with? The last Pokemon is always so hard. Dragon. Because we really need that water resistance in here. Because my goal is to have a team that does not have any overlapping... Sorry, any unchecked weaknesses. Grass and dragon. And I have completely forgot about water absorb and storm drain. And dry skin for that matter. Water absorb. Water Absorb, we... What do we have for options? Go with Quagsire, it's only weak to grass, but that's three grass weaknesses, which I'm not doing. Go with Lapras, all the way down in PU, but it is incredibly fat. However, it... No, too many weaknesses. Are we go with Suicune, it's weak to grass and electric. Um, that would be three grass weaknesses, not doing that. Um, what about Storm Drain? 
storm drain. Storm drain, we have Maractus. Maractus is so stupid. Um, we have Cradleian, we have Gastrodon. Um, storm drain, water absorb. Those are the only two for that. Uh, let's look at water absorb again. Uh, that's double bug weakness. We have resist, resist. I believe resist. And we have we have zero bug weaknesses so far, so that it would work. But Cacturn's really better suited for special attacking. Um, we could go we could go with the Lapras. I think I don't think it's weak to. I don't think it's weak to grass. Grass. Nope. Ice does not resist grass. We need something that's immune to water. We could go with the... <sighs> so hard. Do you have to have Hydro Pump? I can't remember. I'd much rather you have just some other move. Do you have to have Hydro Pump? Whatever, I'm going to keep it with Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump's a good water move. It is. Um, so the last Pokemon we need... Alright guys, so good news and bad news. Good news is I figured out what the main problem is. Bad news, bye bye Jaeger. Jaeger simply has too many weaknesses for us to deal with. Instead, we are going to bring be bringing in a Pokemon that's really just supportive. Or at least that's its primary purpose, and that is the Excadrill. E X Excadrill with the Mold Breaker. Hit stuff with that E Q. It's going to have no. Something already has the leftovers. What am I? I make holes. He does make holes. It's a fact. And you. Are weak to fire, immunity resistance, water, resistance, weakness. So we still need something with the water. We still need something. Hold on. We still need something that is resistant of water. Fighting, weakness, fighting, ugh. So we need a ghost type. I have an idea. We reach to ground, immunity. All right, I have an idea. Would it work? works all right so i just did all the calculation garbage in my head and i finally figured out how this is going to work and i want to do it before i forget jellicent with water absorb the water resistance is simply not good enough bring you down a little 50 keep you male name you pringles pringles and you are going to have the Assault Vest. See, here's the thing. This thing is going to be incredibly specially fat. 252, 252. It is also going to be very primarily um, supportive. It's going to have Recover. It's going to have Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to take Will-O-Wisp off of you. Actually, you know what? You're going to keep the Will-O-Wisp and you're going to get Toxic. It's gonna have recover. It's gonna have toxic. It can't with the assault vest as I'm doing all of this. Um, so instead, I'm going to make you neutrally fat. You don't need anything in there. There we go. Huzzah! 
I know it doesn't make sense that it only has four, but I'm really more interested in this thing's bulk than anything else. And I also don't need you to have the assault vest. I'm going to give you the air balloon. I know that also doesn't make any sense, but bear with me. So dazzling gleam coverage, dark pulse. We have dark coverage, uh, energy. Oh, giga drain. You get giga drain. Nice. Uh, you're going to get the scald and the shadow ball. And I make holes. You are going to get the iron head. You are going to get the earthquake. You are going to get... Um, and you're going to be physically defensive. 252. Actually, you know what? No. You're just going to be neutral. Oh, yeah. You're neutrally defensive. I don't want specific defensivity. 252. Max out. Well, no, four. Get it. Iron Head, Earthquake, Rapid Spin, and Stealth Rock. So, this whole process took me so long. Um, you have the Air Balloon, which means that you can have Recover, which is what I really want anyway. And I don't need the Giga Drain because I have the Grass Coverage, so you're going to have Recover. And, um, okay, I really need to know if... Rotom is required to have Hydro Pump. <laughs> Rotom. Rotom Wash. I can't remember for the life of me. Because here's the thing. I don't want it to have Hydro Pump because I have Scald on this thing. I would much rather have it have... How the fuck do you get Sucker Punch? I would want it to have Sucker Punch. Just because that's hilarious. But no, I'm going to keep you with the Hydro Pump. And I do... Do I have Ice Coverage? I do not have Ice-type attack coverage. So, Hooligan, you're losing your Fake Out. Actually, no, you're going to keep your Fake Out. You're going to lose Scald and get the Ice Beam. Because I already have the Water Coverage. And Rotom also hits harder. Uh, 126 versus 116, which also means that I can make you faster than the average bear. I know, again, doesn't make any sense, but, you know, it'll be useful. It will be, I promise. So, holy crap, that took forever. This is the Bulky Method team. We have Pringles the Jellicent. Holding the Air Balloon with Water Absorb. It has Dazzling Gleam, Recover, Shadow Ball, and Ice Beam. It is neutrally... Well, they're all neutrally bulky. We have I Make Holes with no item. I'm actually going to give you the Air Balloon. You need it more. And I'm going to give you... The Expert Belt. Anyway, we have Pringles. The Jellicent with the Expert Belt. And Water Absorb, Dazzling Gleam, Recover, Shadow Ball, Ice Beam. We have I Make Holes the Excadrill, Air Balloon with Mold Breaker, Iron Head Earthquake, Rabbit Spin, Stealth Rock. We have Hooligan the Scrafty with Lumberry and um, Intimidate is what you should have. With Dragon Dance Crunch, Drain Punch, and Fake Out, we have Game Boy Luke the Rotom Wash holding the Citrus Berry, Will O Wisp, Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, and Thunderbolt. We have the OG Legend himself. Arcanine with the Leftovers and Flash Fire, Flamethrower, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, and Morning Sun. And then last but not least, we have Sweeney Todd, our Mega Scizor, holding, of course, the Scizorite. Technician, Boosted Bug Bite, and Bullet Punch with Swords Dance and Roost. Alright guys, so I'm so hyped for this. This is exactly what I was talking about with the type coverage for the bulky team. There's no dark red on the screen. That is because there are no unchecked weaknesses. Almost every single thing you see here is dark green, which means that it is definitely balanced. The only thing that says possibly unbalanced is ghost, ground, and fighting. That said, I am not at all worried about those because, as I explained, the point of this team is that it's extremely bulky. So, I'm not worried about a couple weaknesses that sort of poke out because we have none that are utterly unchecked. 
But again, you guys are fully intelligent enough to look at this yourself, so I'm just going to get back to the ending of the video. My throat hurts. Thank you guys so very much for watching. This is 45 minutes in at this point. It's obviously when I edit it, it's not going to be that long. But I can't thank you guys enough for watching um, and for bearing with me through all this. Uh, but I'm going to get about now. Best of luck to you out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.